Lastly, we'll discuss about the NT services which has been added. So if you go to infrastructure settings, Bistock servers, we can see a new tab over here called NT services. This tab provides all the NT services on the Bistock server and you also have the option of performing various actions on it. So rather than going to the Bistock server and checking out your NT services, you can see it at one glance over here. It also provides you the information such as the startup type and the logon service account name, etc. Similarly to the NT services for the Bistock server, we have now also introduced the SQL server. For this, you would need to set up the SQL server. So now we can see the details of the SQL server. And again, you can check out all the NT services on that SQL server and also perform bulk actions. In the NT services page, we also have these filters provided over here where you can say show items with the value that is equal to and you can provide some uh, filter value over here that you wish to filter the page on. We also have the live feed. In order to uh, set it up, you need to go to the system settings and slide the enable live feed and save. Once you do that, the live feed should then be enabled and any action you then perform will be audited and will be appearing in the live feed, which you will see over here. We can also talk about the user access policy permission. As you can see on the user access policy page, we now have new tick boxes for Bistock server and SQL server. And once you tick them, you have the option for manage Bistock NT services and manage SQL NT services, which then can be provided to specific users. Hope you found this video helpful. Please visit our website for more such videos. Thank you.